so much bigger than Snow Summit. And this is a big, big mountain. Got the gondola over there, top of the mountain. This mountain is freaking massive. This is only one part of the mountain, jeez. Hey guys, in this video will be a vlog going to Mammoth Mountain. I'll be staying there two nights and really exploring the mountain. It's about a six and a half hour drive from Los Angeles. So I'm super excited about Mammoth Mountain. See you there. charge life of Tesla so here in Mojave still got a quite a ways out but uh, yeah in this like desert it's a very very uh, sketchy uh, place just got the charger over there actually I had these right, we're in Lone Pine about two and a half hours charging the car and I guess there's adding more charges over there so yeah it's just a lot of charging it's really unfortunate with like EVs you gotta charge quite a bit so gas cars straight shot but charging charging it's like third charge I think it's pretty crazy anyhow can't wait to get to uh, Mammoth and check in this appears to be Mammoth Mountain it's like downtown area I'm just driving in right now Six and a half hour drive, we are finally here at Mammoth Mountain Inn. Let's check this place out. Let's take a look here. Oh man. So, very cabin feeling. Nice heater, uh, nice heating. Very stuffy. Yeah. Walk out here, walk up this hill, and you're like, bam, bam. You're this is the gondola that will take you up halfway all the way up to the top. This is the beginner lift, and then there's two other lifts as well. Awesome! So we can literally walk there. Yeah, 100. That's amazing. You're not gonna be in this building though, but it's literally just telling you instead of being in this building, you're gonna yeah. be in this building right here. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so we're in this building. We're just gonna stay here. So awesome. Nice. How much usually are they night rooms and night rooms? Like what? Like thing what? Four hundred a night, guys. A night for us. We use sixteen dollars. A queen room. Like a queen room for you, and a two room for Natalie. That's like a hundred bucks. Oh, okay. So, hey guys, that was twenty nine a night. Uh, we use fifteen dollars for Chase Bank, so that's like a subscription for us. Shout out to you guys. Wow. Uh huh. People leave their their bags or just bring their board. Leave no, their board. Just leave some in the in the bag. So it's two dollars to bring your bag from all the way to the bag. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that that might be good. That would be yeah. huge. Ski valet. Wow, this place is just awesome, man. Such great service and value. All right, I'm here at Mammoth Mountain, and actually, this is the Mammoth Mountain actually was built. See, it's a very older school. Still a chore. It's like three hundred or four hundred dollars a night. I just want to show you like what this entails. Oh, that's not good. It's off this track. All right. Stick. Bro, 
Rosa. And uh, Massacre. This is like kind of like a, you know, like a motel. Same for the location. Obviously, it's kind of dark. This is really right by the by the lodge. The location is really what you're paying for. You can literally take your snowboard skis and get up the mountain. So, thoughts of it? It's okay. I mean, you're here to obviously snowboard and enjoy yourself. But uh, any fanciness? Um, that's pretty much it. This is the Mammoth Mountain Inn. All right, so what are my thoughts of this place? Um, we used 15,000 chase points actually to uh, stay here at night, so two nights, 30,000 points. Um, there's a 25 hour resort fee plus tax. Um, they can't waive that. Um, pretty big property. Um, this room, uh, what can I say about this room? You know, I travel a lot, I go to Vegas, I go to nice places. So I would say this is like a a, B, C, I would say probably B, B minus maybe in terms of amenities. Um, it's a very old building, lodge. They haven't upgraded this place in a long, long time. Um, but they do have a desk, which is kind of nice. I do work and travel. So if you need financial planning services, jungagency.com. That's my firm. We work with over 70 different A rated companies. And we work with uh, retirement accounts, 403Bs, 401Ks, 457s. Um, and just provide some products tax free anyhow. Um, they have a fridge too, which is kind of nice um, as well. Um, small TV. This TV is like old school. This is a TV that I had back in 1995. It was like LCD from Samsung. Bed is queen. The bathroom is like pretty much like a, like a Motel 6, pretty much. Like. Um, but um, closet's broken. It's off the, off the main use now, but closet's broken. So overall, yeah. Um, parking. There was a garage here. Um, um, it was too filled, obviously, so I had to go to the overflow lot. It was like a five-minute walk. It was not too much of an inconvenience. Um, but overall, yeah, I think it's really nice. The staff was really good. The guy who tricked us in talked about they have a ski valet um, service. They wipe your skis, wipe your bags. And one thing, the reason why I, I chose staying here is because paying that premium is because that we can literally go outside and go to the resort actually on the Mammoth Mountain Resort. So I think that's kind of special about this place. So what you're paying for pretty much is the location. And it's not about all this other stuff. So it is peak season. It is April. Time of this recording of this video is April 17th. Um, ski season is still around, which is kind of amazing. So overall, I'm okay. So I'm really looking forward to snowboarding for the next two days. And uh, yeah, so I'll let you know about my thoughts about this mountain and this resort. Those machines here. Oh my god, look at that. This is our place we're staying. And that's it right there. That is amazing. Where is this place at? It's pretty sweet. That's amazing. Look how steep those runs are. So, comfortable bed. Had a nice sleep actually. So, um, very well rested. And uh, yesterday there was a lot of driving, but 
I'm excited about today. It's right, literally, slopes are literally right there. It's pretty amazing. So, excited about, about that. So, all right. See you on slopes before I do my breakfast, of course. All right, we're going to set up our grill so we can get the big out of here. So much bigger than Snow Summit. And this is a big, big mountain. Got the gondola over there, top of the mountain. Oh, that's beautiful, but look at that. Wow, look how beautiful this place is. Such a monstrous mountain. Oh, I'd like to go down this run right here. We groomed it. Massive jumps over there behind me. Huge pipe, half pipe. And this is definitely the Mecca in Southern California for sure. They say it's better than Tahoe. Description below, guys. What do you think? It's better than Tahoe? All right, so this is the gondola. Panama gondola. It's really nice. It takes you to the top. And you actually can take it back down as well, so that's kind of cool. So there's no way in hell that I'll be able to do ski on top of the mountain with my abilities. But. That was nice, we did Broadway, we did it twice. But yeah, this place is really nice, long runs. Not that crowded today, it's a Monday, so very appreciative, thank you. All right, here at Mammoth Mountain, we're about to ride the gondola here, actually. So. Thank you. Wow, super excited. This is it. This is the gondola here at the Mammoth Mountain. Thanks, guys, for dropping by the channel. Uh, something I always want to do is run the gondola. There's one in Lake Tahoe, actually, that's really nice. I have yet to go on it, to be honest with you. But uh, this one should be nice, as you can see on the left. That's the end of our stay now. And, uh, it's just a beautiful piece of wilderness. It's the cart. That's insane. Look at that half part. I asked what Chloe Kim, that's where she practiced. That's where she got her skills at Mammoth. Man, that pipe one is gnarly. That's why I bucket list. I did drop in at uh, some still set, but. That's all I did, anything else, but yeah, it's really nice. A lot of jumps, a lot of terrain. And we 
we haven't explored that much of the mountain to be honest with you. It's just going to one run. It's just not been so big. So we plan on being here two days, so let's go work out. Get some carbs in. Sorry about that too. It's so nice. Mountains behind with all that snow. It's amazing. At the time of filming this video, I think April 17th, look how much snow there is. This is crazy. But it's nice. Stay down in the village right there. Um, I have another video about the room, room tour, so if you want to know about the mountain down in. We're about three to four hundred dollars a night. Uh, 15 to 18,000 chase points. Definitely take advantage of that, guys. Credit card hacks. Description below. Some sign up bonuses that you can take advantage of. Let's take up that for here. I think this is going to go for a while. It's kind of reminded of this cable car. Pretty much it, guys. I have the gondola. Alright, right, guys. Uh, what are my thoughts on Mammoth Mountain? Uh, it's a beautiful mountain. Uh, it's a beautiful gondola that I'm on right now, as you can see. It's so picturesque. It's such a big mountain. And there's just so many lifts, so many runs. The territory is huge. Much bigger than Tahoe. Like my friend said, this place is crazy. Crazy big, and we won't explore one part of the mountain, only one lift. I mean, there's stuff over there and stuff over there and just everywhere. So, yeah, if you definitely want to snowboard, I saw a crazy half pipe. Chloe Kim used to uh, obviously train here. And uh, it's just a great place. Great jumps, great tricks, and park and all that. It has everything. So, I think this is pretty much the Mecca on the West Coast, uh, at least in California, I think, in terms of snowboarding and skiing. So, yeah, very impressed. And, uh, yeah. Here at McCoy actually, McCoy Express. Uh, it's in the middle of the mountain, so let's see what they got. Just wanna, let's get a tour of this place. This is the marketplace. Kind of look around what they got over here.
I ate it earlier, and this was in my backpack. I was going to drink my Red Bull up here, but I smashed it when I fell back down. And smashed my camera bag. Wow, that was a, that was a hard fall. here as you can see it's a very big mountain man we've been doing today we've been doing just the which was it called golden rush now we're at a stump rally look at this thing it's windy as hell it's freezing but conditions not too bad I'm liking Mammoth Mountain a lot. It's a big mountain, a lot to offer. A lot of lifts, a lot of trails. Very steep. A lot of expert stuff as well too. Kind of runs a Squall Valley as well. But uh, yeah, enjoying my day here. All right, so we're going back to the room now. But the convenience of the resort right there, and the hotel being right here, just. Amazing. It's literally amazing. The rooms are okay. Nothing fancy. It's just the location where you're at. Obviously, it has like that French, Swiss motif. But uh, yeah, a lot of great runs across the Mammoth Mountain. Great customer service. Very helpful. So this is the kind of the garage. This is scary. Alright guys, I just finished uh, my first day at Mammoth Mountain. Uh, what are my thoughts of this place? Um, the mountain is freaking huge. Uh, the gondola is really, really nice. There's a little stop middle in the way and then takes you all the way to the top. But it was so windy. It was like 20, 30 mile per hour winds. It was super cold. Uh, super difficult to um, snowboard. A little slushy on the ice. Some rooms, right, trails are groomed. Um, so I don't know how experienced you are. A lot of black diamond, double black diamond on the top, pretty much. Um, everything else is like, there's some green, uh, blues. A um, couple greens that we found was good for me and my wife. But yeah, it's just, there's just so many uh, chair lifts and it's just like massive in terms of uh, just the, the mountain is huge. It's like a big bear, like times five or something like that. And uh, it kind of reminds of Heavenly, or maybe Squall and Heavenly combined. It's, it's that big. And it has some great trails. Um, yeah. And on top of that, um, yeah, good food. Um, good places to hang out and chill. We had some cocoa, actually, when we were, when we were down there. That was kind of nice with my wife. And what else did we do? Um, yeah, it's pretty much, I think we did about eight or nine lifts, nine runs today. And then... Um, and my thoughts of the last night was really nice. I had a good night's sleep here. Um, bed was really comfortable. It's no frills uh, place. But the reality is that it's so close to the resort. And as you can see here, look how much snow there is. This is like a really insane amount of snow um, that they've received. And I talked to someone and they said um, that battery, battery cut out there. Um, but yeah. Location, it's about three to four hundred dollars a night here at Mammoth Inn, Mammoth Mountain Inn. Um, it's on the resort, so it's nice. You can just literally walk down and you're at the uh, pretty much the registration, and you can walk in and go into your um, place. So, yeah, I like it. It's very nice. Parking was pretty much abundant. Um, couldn't park underneath the garage, unfortunately, it was that crowded, but. There were spots outside that we parked, which were okay. But um, I'm just, yeah, I like this vibe, Mammoth Mountain. Uh, it was a six and a half hour, six and a half hour drive, but uh, I did, 
think is worth it. And uh, like I said, again, I use Chase points. I think 15,000 points I use per night. So 30,000 points. And if you look in the description below, I have offers where you can get 90,000 or 100,000 sign up bonus offers if you use my link and support this channel. So you can stay here literally for like five days here if you sign up with the sign up bonuses and stuff like that. So I definitely take advantage of Chase. They're really great with their points, with their, with their uh, redemptions and everything like that. And uh, yeah, so now we're gonna be heading, pretty exhausted, recover a little bit and then head over to uh, downtown charge of the Tesla and uh, see what downtown Mammoth looks like. So let's go check out downtown Mammoth. All right, so we went to the mountainside bar for breakfast. Um, I had a uh, just a typical breakfast. It was okay, the ham was huge. So that's a, what the waiter said to get, and it was good. Eggs and potatoes, so not bad. Not a bad place. Actually, now we're off to the car. Super windy. Yeah, it's crazy. We're going off to the village, which is kind of like downtown. So, check it out and charge my car. So, let you know how that is. All right. This is the village. It's really nice. I like it. Little shops. Supercharged a little farther away, actually, right? About a mile. We should find some place to eat. That's good. We have a good meal for dinner. Oh, damn it. Alright, so we thank God there's a supercharger here. So we're supercharging our car. Big Bear has no superchargers, um, FYI. So way here probably watch some Netflix or YouTube and chill for a bit so. all right guys super excited here on Mammoth Mountain in the village and as you can see here it's just a great vibe and very nice and glossy and clean I'm not sure what that is maybe that's a gondola or something but I'm super excited top chef uh, my wife found this Volcania, it's an Italian place. The two brothers on uh, Top Chef, right, babe? Top Chef, very famous people here. Um, so we're gonna check out their pizza place. It's supposed to be really, really good, so. Vitaggio Brothers, these are the guys that, so. I'm gonna check these guys out, so. From the network. Michelin star brother. Naga Bataggio. Comfort Italian food. Modern flair. So this is pretty much it guys. Oh my god. It's like heaven. Oh my god, so unique. It's so it's hard to explain. It's so delicious. Check out this new restaurant, Bacani. Actually, if you guys watch Top Chef, two brothers they started this uh, kind of restaurant. Super excited! Michelin star brother Michael and uh, James Beard finally is blind. Those, those are great awards. So, we're looking forward to checking out some really good food. So, let's go. Here right now, uh, Volcania here in Mammoth Mountain. Wataja Brothers, very clean. Michelin, James Beard Award winners, and nice menu here. You got like pastas, pizza, it's comfort food, appetizers, salads. So super excited about uh, trying this food out, and I know they won't disappoint. So looking forward to this uh, setting. I love the atmosphere. It's very modern and uh, just chic. And uh, yeah, I just love the interior of this place. Here's 
menu. We got pastas, obviously. We got pizzas. It's a traditional Italian restaurant. And at the very bottom, Italian American classics. Chicken dumplings, pork chops, cappuccino, and broccoli. So let's see what we're going to order, but everything's so good. All right, so spoke to the manager. He recommended the pizzas are delicious. The cacio de pepe, white sauce, mozzarella, broccoli, Antonia, and black pepper. That's twenty-four dollars. And then this is kind of interesting. We're into the Voltaggio O's, our version of the canned childhood favorite spaghettios. Um, tomato gravy with a giant meatball. Um, so that's interesting about that. And then. The man stays a surprise with some other stuff, so we'll see what that is as well. So, but for the most part, great service. I like the ambiance, I like the vibe, very modern and classy at the same time. So, I really like it. Remember when you were a kid? And look at this meatball. Let me try this. Super excited. Reminds me of my childhood. Oh my god. I love it. The pasta, the meatball is so delicious and so good. Perfectly cooked. The sauce is to die for. Wow. So crispy. I love the pasta. Just finished my dinner. Phenomenal. These guys, these brothers, knocked it out of the park. The Fidalgios really did a great job. I went to the restaurant down in uh, Los Angeles, which I'm from, obviously. The ink was really, really good. This place did not disappoint. It's in a great village here. Um, and this restaurant, this restaurant is top class. Uh, Garrett, the manager, did a phenomenal job, so thank you. For the hospitality, the service was great. The kitchen staff was really, really great to us as well. Showing them around a little bit about how they make their foods. And just everything's tense in the detail. We went with the pasta actually. They recommend the Botagio uh, version, canned child favorite. It's a Cheerio uh, SpaghettiOs with a giant meatball. That was $24. I think that was pretty phenomenal. 
It was really good. This is perfectly cooked. The pasta was perfectly cooked, and the sauce was so good. The tomato sauce was so good. Just everything was really good. Let's go to the pizzas, guys. They have a lot of pizzas here, obviously, as you can see here. Um, but we went with, we didn't go to margarita like everyone does. We went with the cacio e pepe, cacio e pepe, 24 bucks, white sauce, mozzarella, pepperoni, uh, I can't even pronounce these words, Montana, black pepper. That was really good. That was very unique. It was something I never had tasted before when I had it. It was, it was very, you taste the mozzarella, it was so good. And the white sauce, it was just so delicious. Hard put into words. I never had something like that before, so it was new. And then we had to put the pepperoni. The pepperoni was bomb. The red sauce, shredded whole mix of mozzarella. That was twenty-two dollars regular. But it was about the pepperoni. I don't know where they got that from. I think they got the pepperoni from San Francisco. I asked the guy back there where you get the pepperoni. The pepperoni was so good and so tasty that the crust was perfectly like made. That's how they put it together. And, uh, yeah, so overall, um, these guys have done a great job. I think this is probably the best pizza place that I've been to in a long time, Italian restaurant comfort food. I love the interior, I love the atmosphere, I love the staff, it's very modern, uh, clean, and you know, family friendly, I saw a lot of families in there, and I just love it guys. So do me a huge favor guys, like this video so more people know about Okana, this place is legit. If you're gonna go snowboarding, enjoying Mammoth Lakes, you have to come to this restaurant. And it's just a phenomenal place. It's a special place that I'll come back to. And kind of subscribing as well, guys. It's pretty windy out here. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, day two here. About to leave the hotel. It was nice. Had a good night's rest here. Um, staff was really accommodating. And uh, getting ready for day two. And uh, up in Mammoth. So uh, last night was good. We had a great dinner last night at uh, Okano. It's a phenomenal place. I have a video and I'll link it for that. So look out for that video. It's just great, two great uh, Italian pizzas as well as the amazing meatballs and pasta as well. So gotta get ready to pack and go up the slopes. All right, guys. What are my thoughts of this place? The Mammoth Mountain. The Mammoth Mountain Inn. Let's go with the inn. Um, I love the inn. It's right next to. That's the inn right there, and that's where Mammoth Mountain is, the actual resort. So it's so close. It's nice, good vibe, old school, 50s, 60s view. We rented a queen size bed, two nights. It's about three to four hundred dollars a night, but uh, we use about thirty thousand chase points. So if you want to get rooms for free, description below. Use my link, you can get that done. Stay four or five nights here for free with the free sign up bonus and help support the channel as well. Um, comfortable bed, you can work there as well. They have a desk. Uh, TV's a little bit small, but whatever. You're just so close to the resort. That's the benefit of that. So that's my take on the resort. Mammoth Mountain uh, Resort. Oh my god. I've been to Lake Tahoe like 10, 10, 15 times maybe in my life. I thought that was so amazing. Heavenly Squall Valley, but this place is special. I mean, there's like five different sections of this like resorts. There's buses that take you from different parts. It's so big. It's kind of insane that there's buses that drop you off in different parts of the, of the mountain. We only explored like two out of the five main parts of it, and we stayed there for two days, guys. So we'll definitely come back, definitely get the Icon Pass, a little hack, get it early. Um, so let's talk about the terrain. They have a nice gondola. You go to the top of the mountain, that's one part. Really nice views of the whole mountain. It's just so picturesque. And there's some crazy pipes, and Chloe Kim actually obviously uh, practiced here. This is her home place, her home base. She's from LA. And uh, a lot of runs spacious there's some crazy black diamond stuff too crazy half pipes crazy jump crazy board park um but everything's great uh, i went through i had such a fun time i've been snowboarding since 95 or i'm sorry like 92 so it's a long time and i had so much fun today this is my second day i enjoy my second day better less people there's only three runs open that day today's a tuesday but it's raining a little bit i mean snowing a little bit it's super windy up here but uh, they're saying they might be open to July, guys. Um, just a great mountain, huge mountain, that's all I can say. And uh, it's, it's just picturesque, and I want to come back and explore more. All right, guys, I strongly recommend coming here, guys. Comparing this to Tahoe, I think it's probably better than Tahoe. My buddy said this is better than Tahoe. I said that's blasphemous, being from the Bay, but I think it's better than Tahoe. But we'll see. So far, I love it. I love the vibe and the village as well. I had a great meal last night. Uh, Vulcano actually, I'll have a video at that. 
take a look, look out for that video. Great pizza, amazing food. The village is sweet too as well. Kind of reminds me a little bit. Smaller version of, the, of uh, Lake Tahoe. All right, guys, do me a huge favor. Like this video. Please subscribe and turn your bell notifications. And I'll see you on the next one.